Hello and welcome back to our HIP Roman Restoration campaign. The last episode we got started a little bit early on our reconquest or restoration of the Roman Empire to Britain uh, by a sort of complicated fiddly process where we built a bunch of castles, invited claimants, granted the castles to the claimants, and then declared upon all of these dukes. Well, not all of the dukes actually, we still have a couple that we haven't declared on because our claimants only had weak claims and in fact uh, to try to expedite the process of declaring those wars, I think we'll cancel our plot to kill the King of Hungary, which we are not having much success with right now. And the dukes we need to kill, or the duchies we need to get a child or a female ruler in charge of are Munster and Norfolk. So I think we'll go for Munster first. It looks like a single murder is all that's going to be necessary in each of those. Well, we'll see who we have the best chance of killing, I guess. 59% initially on him. Okay, this guy apparently is less popular, so we'll start plotting against him. Alright, so we have landed quite a few troops over here, and I think we'll also bring the retinue. We'll just disband the larger fleet here. not going to need it. We're going to land you up here somewhere. And I guess we'll use the retinue to go around beating up all of the armies. Uh, we will not promise a title to anybody. My son Sergius hardly eats anything for fear of turning fast. We can say that Temperance is a virtue and have him gain that trait and some stewardship. That seems good. Where are you headed to Middlesex? Land the retinue in Essex, I think. He's headed to Kent now to attack my smaller army there, I see. Well, this army is taking attrition anyway, so we need about 5,000 in there to have equal numbers. Uh, I don't want half of us. Also, don't want to select that one. We'll do this. I guess all of these are equal size. I guess we'll send 8,000 then. And let's make sure that we have our best commanders in this army if this battle does end up happening. Though we might have changed his mind by sending this army, which we did. Okay, so our retinue's ashore. We have some largish armies over here. We'll wait till they spread out a little bit and try and attack one of them. Hopefully these armies won't work together against us because they're in separate wars, but we should probably just assume that they will. Oh, we have another castle finished. I thought I only did six, but maybe I did seven. Okay, that's fine. Well, I don't think we have uh, another duchy that exists that we can find a claimant to. So maybe we could sort of expand into Wales or something? Is Chester, which is du jour. Not du jour, it's titular, I see. Um, in that case, that doesn't actually help us. There's no point in gaining claims on a title in the Aztec Empire since we have CBs over there already. So I don't really know what we should do with this title or with this castle. I guess we'll just find a claimant to a Welsh duchy, if there is one. We don't have any other reasons to declare war on Alba. Looks like no claimants, okay. Well, maybe we'll just hold on to it for the moment. And have another look after we finish these wars. So we're 131%. Okay, 
get up to 65 close to 200 but not over so I think there's no point bribing anyone there just at the moment all right we'll see if we can attack this 10k I'm assuming this is planes or at least some other terrain type that doesn't give any combat disadvantage. But we are most likely crossing a river. It should be fine though, we'll get good leaders in charge. We have our cataphracts. It's given us quite a good bit of war score against Northumberland. We'll follow him to Cambridge. And we have a peasant revolt, okay. Down here, which our king of Egypt, I'm sure, will deal with. Alright, so that's that taken care of. We're 76% against Lancaster. We're going to have... not Lancaster, uh, Northumberland. We're probably going to have to go up there and siege some land at some point. To finish that one. Uh, we're not actually at war with anybody here, so we should move this army somewhere useful. But not too far away from our other armies, since we're still maybe at risk from some of these. Why don't you stay here for the moment and see if this army is willing to move somewhere? I saw it almost go a second ago. Right, we apparently lost our Mysticos. Uh, we'll appoint the Despot of Italia Anonaria. He has the ambition, so he will actually be better once he gains the post. And also it'll improve his opinion substantially. Okay, so here, I don't really want to attack this 24k all at the same time, but I guess we'll do it. The county is plains, we may be able to go in without a river crossing. If I can find a place. Gloucester, okay. My young son is slowly mastering the art of diplomacy, which is good. Our ecclesiarch has accused this Countess of heresy. Um, yeah, she's probably a heretic. If you say so. Okay, so one of the armies here is trying to leave. They'll be out on the 21st of May. I kind of prefer if they succeed in leaving and let me attack Surrey by itself. So we'll... Yeah, I was kind of thinking that they'd probably change their mind if we didn't go there. So I guess we have no choice but to catch them here by a single day. Invite to plot from this duke. He wants to fabricate a claim on the despot of Italy. I think we'll just decline to do that. So this is going to be a relatively close battle. We do have reinforcements available nearby if we need them. But I think we should win. Especially since they have no leader in the center and we're making very good progress there. Okay, so that actually gave us 100% in this war. We'll enforce our demands. We gained the Old Duchy of Mercia. Under this guy. So just out of interest, that is du jour, I think nowhere outside of the land that we currently have, so we're not going to be able to press any additional claims for him, which is fine. So this guy is off to press his claim on Thomond. Okay. Good luck.
So another little battle against Surrey. And I guess we'll go fight this army from York, but we probably want to bring some reinforcements from somewhere since we have pretty even numbers here. Also, they're in the hills. Um, we could take part of one of these armies, but I think we'll just hold off and wait for a siege to finish and send a whole 24,000 or something. We have an independence faction, okay. Under a despot of Navarre. Alright, well, he won't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's also check on the war against the Aztecs that my vassal is fighting, which is still not over. 96% in his favor, though. So hopefully not too much longer there. Hopefully we can win these quickly and then get another war declared against the Aztecs pretty soon. Of course, we have to kill the Emperor first, but hopefully since he's a child, we'll have not much trouble doing that. I've heard that many of the peasants under my rule are not eager to partake in this war. They claim that they suffer a lot for what seems to be pointless fighting. They should be happy. For some reason. Alright, Duke of Mercia changing crown laws. We lost a siege to York there. My son is mastering the art of swordsmanship. And another guy is off to press his claim by force on this county over here. I think this might be the second or even third time that somebody has gone off to press a claim on that particular county. So apparently the previous ones haven't had much luck. Alright, this army from York is off somewhere else, it looks like. He has moved into the plains, though we will likely still be crossing a river if we go and attack him. We can request that this guy be moved to our dungeon. So this is the Peasant Revolt, okay. Well, we don't actually need that. We're already at 100%. So we'll end that. And... Alright, we can't execute him because he's not in our dungeons. As we just learned. So we'll just ignore him. You are telling me about this person's uh, sexual preferences? We don't care, I think. We'll keep it to ourselves. We do need to appoint a new commander. I guess we'll give it to this duke since he's exactly as good as the other characters and also is landed and we would benefit from the plus 10 opinion. So this siege is about to finish. Um, is this county actually under... Oh, it is under Northumberland, so we aren't going to have to venture all the way up north there to siege anything. And I think this county is under York. Okay, so we'll send you up this way. Actually, why don't we just send you to here? We'll send this army to here. And we'll prepare to attack the army from York once we have the numbers in position. Oh, and we have a... Another holy war against the Aztecs by one of our vassals, this time by France, though. Okay. So the other holy war is over. And somebody else is doing a religious reconquest. Okay. Well, this is good. Maybe my vassals will just take care of all of these conquests for us. And France is actually taking this county, or the whole duchy if there's more than one. No, it's just a single county, which is really good because I believe that's uh, his own domain county. Which will leave him with just one, so he'll be comparatively that much weaker compared to his vassals. 
which could end up in more factions and revolts. Though obviously not while he's defending against infidels. So we'll fight a big battle against York here. Should be relatively easy. And it should hopefully get us a big chunk of war score. Current generation of young men from Constantinople have won fame for their bravery and strength while fighting in your armies. Okay. We don't have levies raised from there, but that's still pretty good, I guess. So the army from York is retreating to Stafford. We'll follow them. Why don't you go here and we can take this siege back. We want another siege down there, that's good. And we've wiped out the army from York. Should we be able to just assault this. Alright, so our Chancellor has failed to sow unrest in Hungary. Not really a big deal, I suppose, since we're not trying to kill him anymore. Yep, well, we lose some prestige. And that Duke's opinion of us goes down, but I don't think that matters too much. So I guess we'll head up to the capital of York here. And where else can we profitably siege? We are not sieging anything belonging to Northumberland right now, so we'll head back down here and siege more of this county. We've collected a tithe, which is very nice. So hopefully France wins their war against the Aztecs a lot quicker than the previous vassal did. We can see what progress they've made once the autosave ends. Still 0%, okay. 1% in that one. Lost a siege over there, and we also lost our Chancellor. So I guess we'll appoint the Despot of Sardinia. Um, actually, he can keep leading armies for the moment. I don't think we need him to do anything much. And we also lost our Ecclesiarch. Yeah, we'll just appoint the best person for the job. I think we probably don't have much in the way of land to convert. I guess we have a county in here. So we'll get him started on that. Can't assault this. It has come to my attention that this guy is trying to fabricate a claim on my title. Okay. I am not too concerned about that. If we can fight off the Mongol Empire, I think we're pretty safe from anybody in the world at this point. We'll appoint you as commander, that's good. Oh, we lost a siege to Surrey over here. I see. Um, we haven't raised the army from Lorraine slash Corinthia or whatever he's calling himself. So let's raise that and we can fight this army and take back that occupation.
Okay, we want a siege in Colchester. I don't think we even need to wait for full morale there. We should be fine. Uh, yep. He is definitely a heretic. And our wife has contracted typhoid fever. That's pretty unfortunate. Sergio's here getting better at diplomacy. Making me more and more disappointed that he's not our heir. Okay, captured a prisoner, we wiped out that army. We can assault this back in a few days. Okay, we have an offer of marriage from the Mongol Empire. Okay, just for a courtier. No hard feelings about the attempted subjugation, I guess. Sure, we'll accept. Sure, that was all in good fun, I suppose. Cousin contracted typhoid fever as well. And we have a peasant revolt. And also need to appoint a new Ecclesiarch again, okay. Well, the county we previously were working on has been converted already, so nothing to do there. Or possibly anywhere. Uh, this is outside of our realm, I think. Okay, well. I'll just leave him doing nothing for the moment. And how is France's war going? 26% in favor. And 37% in favor of the other war. What was this war for? What to? Which is... is that down here? It is, okay. Well, that will be a pretty large gain for the realm if... he succeeds in that. Another member of my family contracting typhoid fever, which is starting to make me a bit worried at this point. Seems to be a reasonably large outbreak down here. So let's just hope we don't catch it ourselves. Want a seat here, so we have gotten to 100% against Northumberland. We'll enforce our demands. We now have a new Duke of Northumberland. Gained a bit of land up here as well. Alright, so that's um, two wars left we have to fight. I guess we'll head over here and siege some land there. Still haven't had any success. Oh, never mind. Uh, we are having some success in our plot to kill the Duke. Let's see if it works. Oh, and a claimant to my titles is hiring men for an attack against me. Well, I'm not too concerned about that. We'll probably just fight him when he arrives. We do have a granddaughter who needs an education. Very good character so far. Uh, we are educating two children ourselves, otherwise I'd maybe try and do this personally, but as it is, we'll just use her for opinion. And we need a new Mysticos. So we'll appoint our wife. Okay, we want another siege. We're up to 99% is the problem that we haven't won a major battle, no. So that should get to 100 as soon as we do one more war, or one more battle or siege, I mean. I guess we'll 
see if we can fight this army in that case. Unfortunately, the Duke escaped the ambush, okay. But my involvement wasn't discovered, so hopefully we get another chance there pretty soon. And we have 100% against York. So we'll enforce our demands. And successfully complete that one. So this army, I think, we can disband unless it's retinue, which it is. That's left Cornwall independent, but this is the guy who will have a truce with because he was also the Duke of York, so we'll have to wait for that to expire or else kill him. success yet catching this army. Recently I've taken my ward with me when I travelled around the country visiting different villages, castles and cities. I constantly explain to my ward how people trade, what sort of crops we grow on the land and so on, so he'll gain some stewardship. Which is good. So he is about to come of age. Should be concerned about his education traits. Uh, Midas touched I guess would be fine. Uh, unless we want to go for diplomacy instead. No, he already has good diplomacy and... This will give him some bonus to diplomacy? No, this is actually a negative to diplomacy. Alright. Um, yeah, let's get him a diplomatic education. Really get this as high as possible. So we just need to find any grey eminence to take over the last of his training. Do we just have no Grey Eminences? They would have to be near the top of the, the list. I guess the best we can get is Charismatic Negotiator. Alright, never mind. I guess we'll just get him the Stewardship Education then. Should be just as good. More Typhoid Fever going around. Okay, and that little battle was enough to get us to 100 here, so we'll enforce demands on that one, and that finishes all of our wars against England so far. So let me see, this guy... We can remove from our special interest list, his claim has been pressed. This guy has not had his claim pressed, we're going to press his claim on Cornwall. This guy has served his purpose, uh, as has this guy, and has this guy, and you have a claim on Elmet, which we are going to press as soon as we can. Okay, well that's going to do it for this episode, so we'll leave it here for now. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.